everyone, my name is Genevieve and today I will be discussing different behavioural modification methods which help reduce bad habits such as biting your nails. Um, I was an extreme nail biter until I tried some of these methods myself and thankfully no longer. Uh, and basically I, I really wanted to, to, to try these methods out because tried willpower in the past I've tried um, my partner calling me out on it every single time but it just it wasn't enough and I really wanted to get my nails done nicely without fear of getting an infection and a nail salon or embarrassed about being how gross my nails were firstly I'd like to discuss aversive stimulus uh, and this essentially means an unpleasant or undesirable effect so what we want to do is apply the unpleasant effect each time the problem behaviour occurs. A good example of this is using bitter nail polish. Um, so now each time you bite your nails, instead of getting relief or comfort, you now are left with a bit of bad taste in your mouth. By, pa by pairing the unpleasant feeling with the problem behaviour, you start to associate the two together. Uh, therefore reducing your uh, problem behaviours because you want to avoid the unpleasant feeling. In some cases, this is enough to stop the problem altogether if it's, if it's not so severe, but if you're like me, then you'll need a little bit more help. Another good strategy is called habit reversal therapy and this is made up of four components including awareness training, competing response training, social support and motivation. Uh, all of these sound like a lot so let's break it down. Starting with awareness training, this is where we want to find out when the, when the bad habit occurs where it occurs, who it might occur around, what time, those types of things. So if you're one of those people who subconsciously do it, then what we spoke about before, the aversive stimulus, um, using the bit of nail polish when you bite them, can be a good way to become aware of the bad habit. Uh, otherwise, you could use keeping the information in your diary, in notes or your phone. Um, and once you have a better understanding of these things, it can be easy to figure out why you do it. For example, um, for myself, I noticed that I would bite my nails more regularly at work, uh, in an exam or studying for an exam, or the main one was probably watching TV or if I'm in front of some kind of screen. So, um, that brought me to the conclusion that I would tend to either bite them when I'm stressed or bored with the rest of us. Uh, next, we can introduce competing response training. And competing response training is where we come up with alternative behaviours for our bad habit. Uh, in my case, I chose drawing and chewing gum. Because uh, I, I work from home and I study from home, so it's easy for me to keep a pen and paper on me at all times. However, it might be easier for you to use, say, a fidget spinner or clenching your fists together, nice and tight, just depending on your situation. Uh, try to come up with something that gives your hands and mouth something to do, keeps them busy and occupied, uh, and the same kind of, of relief that you get from when, when you chew your nails. I wanna take a moment for you to think of an alternative behaviour and what would work for you in the most common environment or place that you bite your nails. Then imagine yourself using that chosen technique instead of biting your nails. Now we're back. Next time you're in that common environment in real life, try and use that alternative behaviour you just thought of. Which now brings us on to social support. This is important as it's a way of keeping us accountable for our actions. 
So you can tell a friend who's close to you, you can tell a roommate, a family member, somebody who's around you or can check in on you. Just ask them to check on your progress every now and again to see how you're going. Tell them what you're doing and um, you can use this as like a little bit of motivation. They can send you some encouragements, things like that. Finally, uh, we have motivation for the last step of habit reversal therapy. And in this one, each, each person's individual, each, each person is different in what they find motivating. Uh, for myself, I, I chose a really nice nail design that I liked on the internet and I really wanted to get my nails done on. And, um, and I just put it on my, my background on my home screen so I could stare at it all the time. So I had to make sure I, I got to the, I get my nails done nicely. For others, it, it could be taking progress photos uh, so you can physically see the improvements that you made. It could be money, it could be food. I really like food. Um, it could be all sorts of things. It really just depends on, on what motivates you and, and to help you reach your goal. To just quickly recap on that, it's it's the becoming aware um, of, of your habit in all situations so that you can then make sure you crack down on it and when you notice yourself doing it, you, you apply the, the different behaviour and... Once you apply the different behavior, you know, you can, you can keep building on it and keep building on it until, until finally it's, it's no longer really a habit anymore. It's, it's... The last method of behavioral modification I would like to talk about is differential reinforcement. There are three types of differential reinforcement procedures, but today I'd only like to discuss one, which is differential reinforcement of other behaviours. Bit of a mouthful, so it's also known as DRO. Now, DRO is designed to create a reward system to encourage people throughout the treatment. Um, and this is best done via a schedule. You only want to use the reinforcement when the problem behaviour, in this case biting your nails, is not occurring. So what you can do is you can count on average how many times you bite your nails per day um, and then tell yourself to reduce that by half. And if you reduce by half that day, then you can get a reward. Um, the option that I went with is I was went for a, more of a time schedule, so I decided that I wouldn't bite my nails for an entire movie or an entire series that I was watching on TV if I, I was watching an episode or something like that. And then at the end of the episode or the movie, I would get myself some sweets like chocolate or something like that. Now, these are just some behavioural modification methods that you could use to um, break the break a habit um, and they worked for me so I hope I hope they work for you.